Good morning, ducks. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Duck Adventure for July the 17th. I didn't film today because I am I am absolutely wiped. I uh, got up at 5:40, wide awake, in excruciating uh, pain. My shoulder blades were just un like unbelievable amount of pain. I'm not used to that type of pain. I'm used to back pain. This was shoulder blades. Um, I was I got up with the intention I was going to go weed whack. I was seized up, uh, like ex excruciating pain. That's all I can tell you. So basically, I laid back down, got up at about eight. I tell, took care of the ducks today. We've had uh, uh, duck deaths today. Hasn't been a good day. Found one dead uh, young duck in the pen this morning when I let the ducks out. Um, I'm just out doing chores. It's the end of the day. Back up a little bit, guys, here. Last night, I had a Muscovy female that wouldn't go back into the pen, and she went and hid underneath the log, log pile over there. Well, she got taken out last night by an owl. Uh, I knew it too, and like I had the flashlight, and Doug was on one side of the wood pile. I had a, a stick, and I could not get her to come out. So I said, "Well, fine. If you want to stay out, you're going to get killed." And sure enough, this morning, her neck, uh, with the back of her neck, was ripped, and then she was flipped over, and they ate out her whole chest. Uh, it was eaten out, and they left her. But it was definitely, uh, I thought at first it was maybe raccoon, but when I saw the back side of it uh, with the, the uh, uh, tear marks on the back of the neck, it was, that's exactly what an owl does. Usually the owl rips the head off though, but I guess this one went right for the breast. We've got another one right now. I'll take you into the barn. Um, it's a little Muscovy uh, duckling. I don't think it's going to make it. Um, it got attacked today. Something. Another bird, it, it, this is bird problems, guys, because one, if it was a four-legged creature like a coyote or a fox coming in here, the birds would just be gone. Um, Doug's interrupting the attacks because we know Doug, anything that flies over the property, Doug loses it. So we've got this little Muscovy right here. Clear on that. Um, a lot of damage underneath the wing and on the back of the neck, exactly like the uh, Muscovy adult that I found uh, dead in the yard this morning. So, oh, hang on. Oh, okay, I thought somebody was escaping or not. Um, so, it's something is flying in and it's doing damage and either Doug's interrupting it or it's realizing that the, uh, the prey is too big for it. Gut's telling me it's going to be dead tomorrow morning. Now, our little duckling that was born like five or six days early, it's hanging with its little friend here, but the bill is like, look at that, guys. Severely deformed bill. And its tongue is sticking out the side of its mouth, like. I don't get it how this duck was born. Like, we're talking 22 days. It's like chicken land. So, it's uh staying in here with its friend, the little runt, that is a, which is the same age as these little monsters over here. So that's uh, uh, two deaths, probably a third one by tomorrow morning. Uh, something is coming in here and, and doing uh, a problem on the duck adventure. There's a little Muscovy friend, I guess coming to check on its friend. Now I will admit today, I had to have a nap. I, 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 I had to guys, I, I couldn't do it. I um, I slept for three hours in the middle of the day today. Doug was outside all day though. I uh, left him out and he would like, he actually, Doug woke me up four, five times uh, today while I was having my nap. I was actually getting uh, quite upset. I was like, Doug, I want to sleep. But obviously he was working, um, running around barking. So, but other than that, nothing else has happened except that's quite a lot actually, you know, uh, one dead female adult and that poor little thing. And, and the one that died in the pen, just a death. One of those, you know, that they just die. Oh, hang on. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, it was just one of those, uh, you know, when the birds die, it happens. You know, uh, you, you can't get all stressed out over, it. you know, this many birds. They don't all make it. They drop off. Anyways, so that's uh, that's what happened here today. I haven't done much else. I'm, I'm going to wash the incubator out right now. And I'm going to call it a day. You know, did my laundry, you know, back in my house. Basic stuff. But I'm, uh, I'm hoping tomorrow morning I can wake up and get some weed whacking done because I've, I'm like, I'm five hours away 
from finishing. Like that's it guys, like five hours and I'm done and I can get focused on the pen. So, I don't know, we'll see. It's supposed to be raining and the rain's supposed to start tonight actually. So I don't know what tomorrow is gonna hold for me. If it's uh, raining, I'll build my uh, gate in the, in the garage and I'll actually pull the other gate in the garage and put the wire on if it's raining. I'll figure out something to keep me busy. But uh, that's what's happened here today, guys. Not, uh, not a lot, but I'm telling you, I figured out this morning, I was talking to my buddy in Florida and I didn't realize how many hours this week. 41 hours I did on the end of the weed whacker cutting that heavy brush that's crazy like that's uh i i couldn't believe it because i've been keeping track of the hours and when i added it all up i was talking to him and i was like i i was actually in shock 41 hours and like that is a that's like well it's like going to the gym and, and just burning it for 41 hours in six days like uh I, I'm uh, that's why I'm so hurting I'm uh, and that's why today I thought for sure you know like yesterday I didn't do any I thought today I'd feel better and I'm not and I'm still right now honestly I wish I could get the ducks in the pen so I could go to bed but it's like I'm an hour and a half away from that happening good morning everybody and welcome to the duck adventure for July the 18th yeah I'm pretty sure it's Monday um, worst morning yet I, um, I've actually been focusing on uh, getting the swamp cut here today just came back for a, a little bit of a break my shoulder blades are killing me, guys, but I gotta get this done uh, so that I can get on with my uh, the pen. If I just let the ducks out, um, we've had uh, something, I don't know what is going on here. Um, this is the worst morning yet on, uh, in the history of the duck adventure to have this many uh, uh, dead ducks. Four dead ducks in the pen. Now, I had a hunch, you know, the Muscovy on the left wasn't gonna make it, uh, but the two on the right are attack victims uh, that got attacked last night. Obviously, uh, I didn't catch them when I put them into the pen, but at the exact same wounds as what's on the Muscovy, under the wing, here, and the same with this one. Something is, is uh, somehow grabbing them and chewing at them underneath their wings. I don't know what it could be what's doing this. I, I don't get it, um, because Doug is, yes, Doug, I love you too. Um, He's seriously running the property. Now this one here, I found uh, in the shed, just dead. Um, which happens, you know, they just up and die. But this is uh, the worst morning yet. I've never had four ducks dead in the morning. And I've got one little duck. Got a hunch, ain't gonna make it through the day. Um, I, uh, it, it won't get out of the bathtub. I tried to get it to walk. Um, something's wrong with it. I think it's the same situation. It's just, you know, it's they're, they Ducks do this, you know, uh, when you have this many ducks, they'll, you'll just get random deaths. And, uh, you know, it's just because of the sheer numbers of them. If, I've seen this, you know, like four years of this. Uh, yeah, four years of this. I just, you know, they just up and die. And this little guy here, both its legs are shaking. Um, and it's, as you can see, it's resting its head on the edge of the tub. Uh, it won't get out of the tub. I tried, I uh, picked it up and... It, uh, you know, I actually drained the top and it didn't even want to move. My gut's telling me uh, it's going to pass away today. So that's probably going to make number five duck today. So, you know, not only am I dealing with, you know, just random deaths, which is part of, you know, raising animals. It happens on a farm all the time. Uh, but this, this predator that's, you know, the attacks are all the same. It's underneath the wing and it's like... It's almost like the, the, the predator is flipping them over and chewing at the side of their breasts. That's what it's like. Uh, and I'm trying to you know get my head around what kind of predator it could be because they're not taking the ducks with them. Like like if it was a you know like if it was a fox or a coyote, like they just grab their prey and run, you know, and uh, they'll drop it if Doug's chasing them. But this is like their it's their little wounds. It's it's for the life of me, I'm, I'm baffled, like unless, you know, uh, like, I, I don't know. I'm watching the sky, Doug's, you know, doing his thing, running around the yard, anything that flies over the yard, he's losing it, and he's not doing a lot of losing lately. Uh, he's being really, uh, you know, actually, it's not, there's not much flying around the yard, like, not like normal. You know, I, I did, haven't seen seagulls in a day and a half, and these wounds are fresh. They're not, um, uh, they're not old wounds like they're they're really fresh like when i discovered them scoby yesterday um 
the wound was like still bleeding. It was so fresh. So this just sucks. I hate when this happens. Anyways, I got to deal with a bunch of dead ducks here and I got to go back and, into the swamp and keep cutting here. I, uh, I got to get this done. That's my goal today. Uh, by the end of the day, I'm not going near as fast as I was last week, guys. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm severely handicapped right now as far as my, uh, my ability. Really, my body actually today he said take today off again, you know, to give yourself a little extra rest. But I got to get this done because my neighbor is telling me that Wednesday, Thursday. So I've got to be ready for him here. I got lots more to do. I'm a little bit behind today, guys. Um, I just got my edit done and I did a bunch of other screwing around. But the weirdest thing, well, it's not weird. Well, we got pips. Pips are starting to happen on the eggs. But they're really loud because I'm in the kitchen at my desk and I can hear Dale's ducklings chirping. And I come out here and they won't chirp when I come out to the, the, um, uh, to the hatcher. But there are a, a bunch of eggs with cracks in the shells. So it's starting. You can see the little uh, broken piece of shell sticking up there. Try to zoom out there, I think that's better. I don't know, I got blurry vision right now. I think that's another one, I can't tell here. My eyes are really bad for some reason right now. A little too much computer work. Today, it's, um, I spend far too long on the computer. All right, I'm gonna go and uh, do some uh, bull rush cutting. I don't know, it's really hot out now, but I gotta, I gotta get it done. Today's the day it has to get done because uh, my neighbor's coming Wednesday and I wanna, I wanna do some pen work tomorrow before he even gets here, but we've got uh, bad news. I looked out the window and the duck that was in the bathtub looks like it's dead. We've had like four big cloud bursts while I was working. That's why I wasn't rushing because these big black clouds would come over and we would just get like a sheet of water it would come down. But uh, it, the sky's clear now and I'm gonna go and do some uh, bull rush cutting but the duck died. So that's five ducks in one day. I'm thinking that's the worst day yet on the duck adventure to lose five ducks sucks. I hate that. All right, I got to deal with this dead duck and I got to go and suit up to start cutting bulrushes. I'm going to be letting these guys out any day actually. Any day. Like really soon. I'm thinking when my neighbor and I are working on the pen, I'm going to let them out. All right, I'm going to uh, do my dead duck deed and then I'm going down to the swamp to uh, finish off the bull rush cutting. Oh, I'm excited, man. It's gonna be done today. Well, I'm absolutely wiped out, guys. Of all the jobs that, you know, I've done on the duck adventure, hated this one the most. Um, grand total, personally, 47 hours on the end of the weed whacker. 47 hours I've done. I've had enough of the weed whacker. My back's killing me, my shoulder blades are killing me. Um, but it's completely, Done, except for on the other side of the creek, which I'm not gonna do for probably uh, two weeks. So it was 47 hours for me, and then my neighbor did eight, so 55 hours to cut all of this. It's gotta be a faster way. You know, one of those flail molars, mowers, but the ones that you can tow behind an ATV, I was on YouTube, I saw one of those uh, put it on the back of the Argo. It would work, drag it around in here and, you know, destroy it everything but oh man I'm, 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 I'm freaking wiped out oh I gotta go do my chores I think it's about 7 30 when I went back to get the camera I uh, got another we got another dead duck but this one I watched die right in front of me it was having uh, some kind of convulsion um, and I saved the duck the other day that was flipped over on his back doing that convulsion thing and it snapped out of it and, and was fine. But this done, this one today, it was on its back. It was, I thought it was you know, doing that flipped over thing, but it's too, it was too old to be stuck on its back. So I corrected it and it was just in its last throes of uh, life. And uh, by the time I got the camera, came back out, it was dead. And not a mark on it. It was strictly uh, going through some kind of seizure that it just up and died. So that's uh, six dead ducks today. Oh man. Not a good day in the duck adventure. Uh, not a good day for my body either. I'm gonna pay for this tomorrow. I did like six and a half hours uh, and it was absolutely brutal. 
it was actually over there was the worst part it was even it was even harder than the bush over on the other side um, because there was brush all mixed up in in, in, in the bulrushes and the grass it was absolutely brutal brutal well, I had my my weed whacker I burnt the spark plug out at the end the only way the weed whacker would keep going was wide open so the plugs burnt out of it <laughs> oh man can't believe what I just put that weed whacker through <laughs> tortured it big time and that's the little guy that just died I watched him die not a mark on his body nothing he was just having some convulsions and and uh, it was time for him to go so I, I think that's the most ducks we've ever lost in one day here this is not a good thing guys we got another duck that's gonna have to be put down um, Doug just found this duck in the bush he went into the bush um, and this duck something has ripped its guts open I don't even know how it's still alive Doug come here sit its guts are hanging out the bottom of it something has ripped it wide open what is going on here all right I gotta make a dash for it and catch this thing with the net All right, little duck. Oh, man. Oh, my holy moly, guys. Oh, man. What did this to it? The whole... Oh. How is this duck even still alive? Something tore it completely apart. Now, I don't know if this duck was down at the lake and then came back from the lake. Maybe a snapping turtle. But, man, man, okay. Seven ducks in one day. Sorry. Oh, man. Seven ducks in one day. So I was coming over here to fill this with water. Dog took off into there, like something was here, and then the little duck came out like instantly uh, with its guts hanging out, and Doug uh, went farther into the bush. So I don't know if something was in there and Doug interrupted it, but there was no noise. Like there wasn't a screaming duck sound, which, you know, you would think we'd have a screaming duck sound because you know they're like gonna even pick them up but something's in here that has got Doug's attention what could be causing this or maybe the duck came back from the lake like that when I was down at the weed wagon but Doug has been paying attention to this area more than normal Or is it just the squirrels and chipmunks, Doug? What is it, dog? You don't like this side of the yard. I think I gotta move the duck water uh, Closer to the house. I gotta get this pen uh, done this week. I gotta go in and phone my neighbor to confirm it's uh, he's coming over on Wednesday. But something in this tree area has got Doug's attention. The fact that he's smelling the branches, I'm gonna trying to think here what could be climbing the tree that would kill ducks. Weasel is the only thing I can think of. All right, like 80% of the flock now is over there on the uh, area that I finished cutting yesterday. 
It's got to be the frogs because there was a ton of frogs there today when I was cutting. There won't be a ton of frogs after these guys go through though. I can't believe I lost seven ducks today. I'm really depressed about that. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends and enjoy the show.